Hello everyone, welcome back to Mohana Astrology, Rajshri here and today's topic is 2021 for Libra, Scorpio and Sagittarius. So let's start with Libra. So for Libra, this year is going to be focused on your home, your mental peace, your profession and your achievements. 2020 had not been really great for most of the Libra people, but 2021 is bringing some hope. Profession wise, whether it's independent profession or it's a job, you are going to do much better this time. At the same time, Saturn is placed in your fourth house of mental peace and happiness. Although it's your own house and Saturn is your best planet, it's going to bring some stability definitely in the home atmosphere but at the same time you need to take care of your mother's health you need to take care of cordiality at home um, because no matter how much Saturn is uh, promising to be good for you it still is Saturn it's going to give its results accordingly of course there may be some gain from inheritance or insurance or there may be some sudden gain that's coming your way because Rahu is placed in your 8th house so while you may expect some inheritance or gain from insurance you also need to be very careful about your health you need to be careful about your well-being and mental health as well and uh, family issues that needs attention as well because Ketu is in your 2nd house and um, finances savings you may see that the savings are not really growing as you expected or rather it's depleting so you need to be a little careful about that your time from april to september and again from november onwards is going to be good for libra there is one more thing and that is there may be some kind of relocation or change of home or residence uh, you may move into a completely new residence in a completely new place this year so be prepared for that as well now Scorpio for Scorpio people the core ruler of your sign that is Ketu is placed in your ascendant and Rahu is in your seventh house so this year is definitely going to be a year of complete transformation for you. In 2020, if you have suffered from some kind of illness, whether it's physical or mental, there is a very high possibility that you will get over that in this year. And a fresh start will actually begin for you. There can be prospects of uh, marriage or forging of new partnerships professionally this year since Rahu is placed in your seventh house that is the partnership and the marriage house you need to be a little careful about choosing the right partner just keep your eyes and uh, eyes and ears open and uh, use your best judgment before you make the final decision Relocation is definitely foreseen in 2021. There can be foreign travel as well for work or for personal reasons. With Ketu in your first house, you are going to be uh, extremely intuitive and your spirituality is also going to increase a lot. There can be sudden gain of money and uh, some huge profit coming your way from the new ventures and that's a good part of it your career prospects are going to be good from april and uh, till september and again from november onwards enjoy 2021 moving on to sagittarius for sagittarius the whole theme of 2021 is uh, finance wealth accumulation of wealth and uh, your family and extended family that includes your in-laws now this year you are going to gain a lot of money because your own sign lord that is jupiter is placed in the second house of wealth accumulation and this year is going to give you uh, good job opportunities professional opportunities 
you are going to win over your opponents at work you are going to win over your opponents in the study area if you are sitting for any kind of competitive exams it's very good year for you your spirituality is going to be pretty high as well however your home atmosphere health and peace of mind these three need some attention uh, this year your sign uh, your ascendant itself is between is hemmed between ketu and saturn which creates a lot of pressure on you from a uh, work front from uh, your health point of view so you need to be a little cautious about these areas if you want to take any initiatives new initiatives in your work front if you want to start your own venture time from april to september and again from uh, november onwards is good for you you also need to take care of your expenses since ketu is sitting there you may find that there are huge expenses but you have no track of it otherwise everything is good and uh, be happy and healthy in 2021 so in my next video i am going to discuss about the rest three of the signs and that will conclude this series of uh, how 2021 is going to be for all ascendants and i'm going to post that very soon again since i'm traveling a lot so it's becoming very difficult for me to come up with the visuals that i normally do and you all like it i know but this time you have to excuse me that i'm not being able to do that but as soon as i uh, get back to my hometown i'm definitely going to focus on those again and uh, also wanted to remind you all that uh, i have taken out another video where i have jotted down all the transits and please check out that video because every transit whether direct retrograde uh, all eclipse dates and a special conjunction dates of 2021 are jotted down there for everyone's benefit so whenever you need to know which planet is transiting where and on which date you can come back here and refer back to this video thank you so much for watching this video and as i always say may god bless us all and if you want a consultation you can reach me at mohanaastrology@gmail.com visit my website www.mohanaastrology.com all the details are jotted down there thank you